Do I? Do I do it? The design on the thro- on, on the front. Hello beautiful makeup lovers and welcome back to my channel. Today I am trying a brand new indie brand to me, Beauty Moon Cosmetics. I'm really excited. They sent me over their criminal palette in PR so thank you so much to Beauty Moon. I am excited to try a new formula, try something a little bit different. The palette looks gorgeous. I'm going to show you close-ups and swatches and we're going to do a look together. It is also really really hot in the UK right now so I have my cold caramel latte and we're just going to play around with this palette. Now Beauty Moon Cosmetics are a UK indie brand and it says this palette retails for £23, nine pigmented blendable buildable mattes, three pigmented buttery shimmers and four pigmented no fallout glitters. So you all know, if you watch my channel before, I am not the biggest fan of pressed glitters. Um, I don't really use them in palettes, I don't like to see them in palettes. Um, so I won't be sticking to any of these four glitters they do look insanely beautiful especially the green one but I just don't like that that's my personal preference so I'm going to be sticking to the rest of the palette and I'm excited to dive into these tones it's a bit of a grungy different color story we have some sort of primary color feeling to this so we're going to see what we're going to do today I'm thinking this bright yellow looks real nice while I'm just priming my eyes I will show you the close-ups and the swatches I really like that this palette has a theme based on criminal so let's dive into those close-ups now aren't you tired of the drama you use your words like they are at nice mm -hmm. i don't need that type of drama and trying to be tough for the day time Make yourself feel better by taking me down Once I fell, but now I'm strong, I'm ready for the rematch Shoot me down, don't you know I get up I really like the layout of this palette, I like the shape, I love it when Palettes come in this shape, like, I don't know what it is, I'm a sucker for it I really, really enjoy that, um And I do like the artwork on the outside of the packaging I think because I'm feeling kind of summery and hot today, I definitely want to use the yellow, the orange, maybe the red, maybe those could be cute, maybe we might dip into the white, who knows, it's me, possibly, that's that's a real possibility. I think I want to start out with the orange shade here, they don't have names so I'm just going to point to it and it's the orange one and we're going to see what this formula's like because although you've seen the swatches, I haven't swatched it yet because I want to see how these perform on the eye, hello pigment. <sighs> I don't know what I was expecting, um, but that is pigmented. Oh, that is such a delicious orange. I'm a sucker for an orange. Just looking as well at the Beauty Moon Cosmetics Instagram, they have so many nice things that actually I'm quite interested in picking up. So maybe I could do that. Have you heard of this brand before? Please do let me know. Um, it's a relatively new one to me, but so far, uh, I like the look of the products that they have brought out already. Just gonna blend on the edge of this orange a little bit, and it's gone on pigmented and beautifully, and the edges are wanting to blend out on their own, to be honest, that looks really good. I think then I'm gonna go into the bright yellow shade, and I'm just gonna pop that toward the inner corner leading into that orange because I can't not. I'm just feeling the summer vibes today. That is a beautiful, bright, zesty yellow. I'm actually thinking maybe I don't want to go into the red now, you know? There is sort of a brownie shade that I could deepen up the outer corner with that would go with the orange really nicely. I know who am I thinking of a brown. Okay, I'm gonna go into the white. I have to test the white. I love a matte white in a corner. So I'm just going to press this on and we're going to see how opaque we can get this. Okay, that is definitely there. I'd say that is a fairly nice matte white. It's not the most pigmented I've used, but it's also definitely showing up and giving me that white bright inner corner that I wanted. Then I'm looking at the other shades to deepen up and I'm thinking... What am I thinking? I think I want to use, should we use a little bit of this one? 
Should we? I'm gonna go into a little bit of that and just pop that on the outer corner. It's not the deepest shade, but this again is a summery type of vibe that I'm going for. So that's definitely showing up. Oh yeah, that's building nicely on the outer corner on top of that orange. That is really nice. These mattes seem to be very easy to work with. And I think for just a touch more depth, I might go into one of the deeper shades. Which one should I go into? I think this one, just a tad, just so that I can deepen it up that tiny, tiny bit more. Then I do just wanna run those shades on the lower lash line also, because I, I don't wanna incorporate too many of the other different shades. I wanna keep this a more cohesive, fruity, summery kind of look. Now I could 100% keep this an all matte look. Should we? Should we keep it an all matte look or do you want me to test a shimmer? Like I love how that looks without any shimmers. I think that is absolute perfection. But because this is a testing video, okay, we have three shimmers that we can test. So we have the purpley blue, the deep green or the silver. And I don't think anything's gonna match apart from the silver, is it? So I think that's what we're gonna be using. And I think I'm just gonna take it on my finger. And do I, do I do it? I kind of don't want it to be opaque. So I'm just dabbing gently so that it gives sort of like a shimmery glow. I don't want to build this up so it's fully opaque. Oh, <gasps> okay. Okay, I'm very happy with this. I'm just very gently dabbing. So it gives the subtle illusion of a shimmer. Okay, I'm really enjoying how this is looking. Let me jump off, finish up this look, and then we'll discuss my thoughts on the palette. So guys, here is the finished look, and I have to say I'm obsessed with how it's came out, and I didn't think I could get a nice summer tropically look from this palette, but sticking to the more bright, zesty tones, this is, surprisingly a really nice palette for summer as well. You might look at it and think it's not a summer palette, but I think it's versatile because of the types of shades that are included. You can go so many different ways with this and I can definitely do more looks for you with this, especially over on my Instagram, which will be linked down below if you wanna check that out. But I love how this has all come together. I'm feeling very fruity, very summery. So let's discuss this palette. I have to say for 23 pounds, I don't think that is a bad price point, um, especially for an indie brand. Like I say, I love the shape of the packaging. I like the design on the, thr on, on the front. I like the design on the front and I like the theme. I like it when a palette has a theme and this one definitely does. Um, I don't think it's gonna be everybody's favorite color story because it has some primary colors in it, but I think that's what makes it kind of versatile. And I really like the shades that have been included. My only bugbear with this is the pressed glitters because that's just a personal preference thing. Some people absolutely love pressed glitters. And if you do, you might love the ones in here because if I did love pressed glitters, this green one would probably be calling my name. Um, I like the fact that we've got depth, we have brights, we have mid-tones, we have a nice matte white that can blend out other shades. And as you can see in my inner corner, it is bright and light enough to make an impact. I would say the mattes are very pigmented, very buildable and blendable. They wanted to blend themselves out. That's how easy it was. I would say this matte formula is a really user-friendly one, especially for beginners. Um, obviously I just used one of the shimmers, which was the silver, and I didn't want to build it up to full opacity. So I can't really say how that would look all over the lid fully built up. Obviously I will be doing more looks with this and obviously this is just a first impression. I will definitely be coming back to you with this palette with a speed review and giving you my more in-depth thoughts when I've used it a lot more. And we do have some more neutral leaning tones in this as well if you want to tone it down a little bit you don't have to have it as bright and poppy and zesty as what I have but if this isn't the colour story for you I hope this has given you a bit of a taste of the formula and what this brand is like eyeshadow wise so that if there's anything else that you want to pick up from them you definitely can if this isn't your cup of tea but I'm really pleased I've got this in my collection I'm excited to do another look because I'm thinking I definitely want to use this purpley blue shimmer because that one looks looks like it's going to be my favorite shimmer in this palette to be honest the mattes are definitely the standout for me in this palette though because they were so pigmented, so easy to use, and the blendability, it was just, it was easy. It was easy on a hot day 
that you don't want to spend 10 years blending. So I really appreciate that about this palette. Would I have picked this up if I hadn't have got it in PR? Possibly, possibly not. Maybe I'd have picked up a different one just colour story wise and preference wise because I tend to go for things with a lot of green in it. A lot of green and a lot of purple. That is what I'm drawn to. That is what makes me want to try a brand. But having said that, I do definitely think it's worth the price tag so far after my first impressions. Like I say, I will definitely come back after I've tested a lot more of the shades for you. It does say it's cruelty free and there is a 24 month shelf life. It does come in a sleeve, but it looks exactly the same as the front of the packaging. So I will be recycling that. Let me know what you think to this look. Let me know what you think to this palette and this brand guys. Have you heard of them? I love trying indie brands. It's one of my favourite things, especially when they're brand new to me. I've never tried anything from them before and I get to discover their formulas and what they are like. That is just, it's just my jam. Thank you for checking out this video guys and thank you for the people that stayed till the very end. If you could give this video a like, that would be amazing. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye.